Hey there, for this franchise speed dating event, we're featuring five brands in five minutes or less that are particularly very good for a veteran business owner, someone who has served our country. Again, thank you so much. Um, this was a hard one to narrow down. Franchising has embraced veterans. Veterans do very good as business owners, leadership skills, communication, um, processes and systems. They just thrive in the environment. And so again, this is a handful out of hundreds that we can be talking about. I will try to gear toward a business that you're looking for. You know, do you want to lead a team? Do you want to be more hands-on? Are you not afraid of a dirty business? Do you want this to be a full-time or a part-time business ownership opportunity? There's a lot of different ways to slice it and dice it. These five brands are proven successful with veterans. They have other veterans in the system. Veterans tend to do well in them. And there are discounts available for our veterans and active military. So hopefully um, that starts to give you an understanding for this one. Again, if anything tends to pique your interest, I would love to concierge this approach for you. Thank you. Hello, and thank you for your interest in Footprints Floors. Footprints Floors is one of the fastest growing home services concepts that's out there right now. In 2020, we actually awarded 30 franchise owners, and so far in 2021, we've awarded 18. Why are we growing so quickly? There's so many reasons. First and foremost, we have a pretty low investment at Footprints Floors, starting at about $75,000. On top of that, our franchise owners on average are netting over $200,000. So there's definitely a very quick ROI with this business. Also, our owners are not the ones doing the flooring. They are simply overseeing subcontractors who complete the floors and they're working mostly with the customers. This is an executive type business. Our franchise owners are not the ones getting their hands dirty. They also do not have any build out. We don't have any showrooms. We don't offer any samples and we don't have any inventory. We simply allow the customers to select the flooring that they would like from anywhere they would like, and we coordinate the installation of floors. Our owners also don't have any employees because they're only working with subcontractors who are the ones doing the labor. So as you can see, overall, this is a very simple concept. It's very scalable. It has a great ROI, and we are growing extremely quickly. So from there, I do want to um, just introduce our founder, Brian Park, in this short video. The, the, the number one thing everyone falls in love with is the flexibility of schedule. You're your own boss and you get to decide what you're going to do each day. You're doing, you're doing estimates, you can block off time, you can be present with your family, you can go on vacation. I hear from franchisees all the time, we couldn't go back to a corporate sitting in a cubicle job. The flooring industry right now is, is booming. People will always be buying houses, and as they build new houses, more, more and more floors need to go in. So when we look at just the labor half of the industry, it's almost entirely one-man shows, and that's our competitor. Our pricing is the same cost as the one-man shows. So when we go into an estimate and a homeowner's trying to decide between the one-man show who has no backing and no marketing presence. And then we come in and we're the same cost, but we have all of the professional backing that, that comes with it. It's an easy decision for customers. When we compete against the box stores, cause yeah, Home Depot and Empire today, they do estimates, but they're also 50% more expensive than us. So they come in at $12,000 and we're at eight. And we look and present the same. So we are uniquely positioned between the box stores and the one man shows to fill a huge need. The Footprints Floors model all starts with marketing. So part of the royalty and managed service fee covers all of the franchisees phone answering. And so these calls come in, it's your average homeowner looking to have flooring done. Those estimates get scheduled on the franchisee schedule for them. So they'll drive to the estimate, uh, conduct a 30 minute, 60 minute estimate with the homeowner, talking through all the different options and what's available and what's the best thing for their situation. The franchisee will schedule the project, assign crews that they have, have found and coached and, and mentored and now manage, and execute the job. So we want the franchisees to be present at the job each day, so visiting uh, the house each day. 
And then once the project's done and the customer is very happy and everybody's good, collect the final check, ask for the five-star review and uh, move on. And then do that as many times a week as you can. If this sounds like a business that you might be interested in owning yourself, we hope that we will hear from you soon. BioOne Inc. is the most recognized and successfully franchised crime and trauma scene company in the world. We specialize not only in crime scenes, but also hoarding cleanup, meth lab remediation, COVID-19 cleaning, and pretty much all the worst things the world has to offer. BioOne works with all areas of law enforcement, local, state, and federal. They all call BioOne. This is a franchise unlike any other in the market. We do have some copycats, but nothing comes close to owning and operating a BioOne Inc. franchise. Our owners come from all walks of life. There is no one size fits all for a BioOne owner. The biggest stipulation to owning a BioOne franchise is heart. You have to want to help people. You have to want to help people in their greatest moment of need. You have to be willing to be there for a stranger when they need you the most. We get calls on what's typically the worst day in a person's life. BioOne owners need to have compassion, empathy, and a willingness to help their communities. At BioOne, we have a company motto, help first, business second. We not only mean that statement, but it's a way of life for us at BioOne. Come join us today and be a part of the BioOne family. entrepreneurs this is Karen Riker from Stop Restoration. If you like serving your community, helping people in need, if you're management minded and want to build a team in an essential services business, this may be the opportunity for you. Let's talk a little bit about the history of Stop Restoration. It all started with the family back in the 70s with these three handsome gentlemen. The gentleman in the middle, his name is Matt Clark. And in the 70s, he started to go around to trade shows that attracted small independent restoration companies, janitorial companies, and carpet cleaners. His time spent at Honeywell and BF Goodrich taught him big management and marketing systems. And his idea was, let's take it to the people. He was so successful that a couple of years down the road, he became a keynote speaker at those same events. Today, Mac is no longer with us, but the company still has Brian and Darren Clark, his sons, sitting in the two top positions. And in 2020, we were acquired by Authority Brands and sit alongside nine other franchise opportunities that serve the need, needs of home and business owners. So you're in good company with a strong business. We have a philosophy at Stop. We're gonna start simple, grow big. You will start this business right out of your home. We don't need space until we grow. We're gonna train you and coach you and prepare you to become that CEO high level performing manager and marketer. This is a business to business opportunity. It is essential services. We'll start you out with over a thousand contacts of referral sources in your market to help you get started. And you will receive a protected territory of up to 300,000. That's very generous in our industry. Where will the money come from? 60% of all of the claims that your team will address are due to water damage. Think about it, you've probably experienced this yourself. Leaks from pipes, appliances, maybe it was the roof, sewage backup and more. Keep us busy year round. And hand in hand with water is mold. We also address fire and smoke mitigation, as well as you don't have to offer it, but you can biohazard. This is what we most commonly think of as crime scene cleanup. 
but where are the opportunities gonna come from? We'll spend a lot of time coaching and training you on how to tap into the key 25 referral sources. 60 to 70% of the opportunities you will receive will come from the relationships that you build. And these will be opportunities that you see for five, 10, 15 years. 10 to 20% will come from that digital internet presence. We're gonna build that for you with our marketing experts. 10% from third-party administrators and another 10% from industry associations. In the beginning, we're gonna start small, start simple. Like we mentioned, it will be the owner and one or two part-time technicians. Our goal is to get the owner out of the truck as quickly as possible so you can rest in the position of that high-performing manager and marketer. Down the road, we're going to grow that team of technicians, add crew leaders, add vans and equipment. In the office, we'll grow to add office managers, maybe even a full-time sales and marketing person. We'll help you identify those people, and we do have a program to help you attract and retain that talent in our industry. As I mentioned in the beginning, you got to want to be management minded, have a desire to help others, be friendly and approachable, be a problem solver and want to build a team. These are the qualities that make up a high performing stop restoration owner. The next step, please talk to your consultant. If you want to learn more about stop restoration, I'd love to speak with you, give you all the details, and learn a lot more about your desire to own a business. Good luck, and I hope we speak soon. Hi, my name is Dave Mahalik, and I am the Director of Franchise Development at Shelf Genie, and I just want to take a few moments to share with you some highlights of the Shelf Genie franchise opportunity to see if this is perhaps something you'd be interested in learning more about. Let's first start with what we do. Shelf Genie provides storage solutions for kitchens, baths, pantries, garages, and closets. We do not sell products. We actually offer custom storage solution, and every job that we do in our system is custom designed and fabricated. We offer an extremely high quality service in the design consultations and our products themselves. This is actually one of our biggest differentiators in the industry. And also it's a very fun, creative, unique, and yes, very purposeful opportunity. So if this is something that you're seeking in a franchise, we might be the opportunity for you. Historically, we started back in 2000 in Richmond, Virginia as a distributorship model, and we began franchising in 2008. We've had record revenue years in 2020 and 2021, and I'm pleased to tell you that in 2022, we're on track for yet another. But the great news is in late 2020, Shelf Genie was acquired by Neighborly Brands, the largest home service franchise company in the world. And in that, we are now a part of a family of 19 franchises in the United States. They do 3.5 billion annually in revenues. And now we have the opportunity for a lot of great cross-referencing and cross-pollinization, as I call it, of sales and leads and referrals among the brethren of other owners in the Neighborly system. Some general information about Shelf Genie. We currently have 53 franchise owners operating 58 markets, but in those 58 markets, they have 280 territories, and that's across the U.S. and Canada. That's an average of about five territories per owner, so this is definitely a multi-territory opportunity. For new franchise owners, we typically award two, three, or four territories, and for definition, a territory is contiguous zip codes with up to 125,000 plus households. Also, this is not a semi-absentee opportunity. We really do require full-time participation in the business and want owners to build that large enterprise. And that's actually who we're seeking, that big picture professional who can build, manage, and train teams of 1099 contractors. And in this business, that would be the designers and the installers who are your boots on the ground and be successful in marketing their businesses locally. Who is our ideal owner? What we're looking for is somebody who wants to be the CEO of a small business and is looking for a scalable enterprise. And in doing that, the three primary responsibilities for our owners would be being able to recruit, train, and manage those small teams of designers and installers, be comfortable in local relationship building and telling the Shelf Genie story in your market to grow referral partners and attend home shows, and then also is kind of the, as I jokingly call it, the air traffic controller role, the ability to oversee being a project manager and customer service of multiple projects that are going on at any point in time. I also want to give you some highlights of uh, the Shelf Genies, uh, Shelf Genie franchise. First of all, we have no direct competition. 
Okay, when we do things, we do it on a very large scale, we do it with very high quality, and nobody does it exactly the way we do it and, and how we do it. So again, no direct competition. We also provide unparalleled support and resources to our franchise owners. From a technological standpoint, marketing, we have a call center, we do extensive training, and we also assign a franchise business coach to each and every one of our franchise owners as their go-to mentor for the lifetime of their franchise. As I said earlier, every job is custom designed and custom fabricated, and the manufacturing is done in two U.S. plants that we own. So Shelf Genie is responsible for managing the personnel, the quality, the, the products themselves, and we integrate that supply chain directly into our franchise owner's business. We provide very high quality products with a lifetime warranty, and in this business model, there's virtually no overhead. There'll be no employees. There'll be no inventory. There'll be no showroom and for the most part, no warehouse. So really that leaves the liquid capital of our franchise owners to make the investment in actually growing their business and spend in marketing. And also it's a simplistic business model. This is a business model that you find the right teams of designers and installers. It can really afford you a comfortable lifestyle business. And as again, as I said earlier, it's a unique, creative, fun, and quite purposeful opportunity. So just to give you some general numbers about Shelf Genie, our average order size last year was $4,121. And for the top 20% of our owners, that average job size was $5,005. Our average help rate, and in sales vernacular, they call it the close rate, is 57%. So last year, out of every 100 jobs, 57 of, or excuse me, 50, out of every 100 appointments, 57 of them turned into a Shelf Genie project. Our average cost of goods from our plant average about 27 to 28% overall. And last year, about a third of our franchise owners generated at least $1 million in gross revenue. So again, a very scalable opportunity. And our largest producer, our number one owner, did nearly 4 million in revenue last year. So those are just a few highlights for you. I hope that from what you've heard, it piques your interest and you'd wanna chat further about Shelf Genie. And I just also wanna say thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Jen Kane, Vice President of Development at Franchise Fastlane, and I am so excited to introduce you to this incredible brand, the Brothers That Just Do Gutters. Now, I know you all are being used to being told, keep your minds out of the gutter, but I am here to tell you to please keep your mind in the gutter while I introduce you to this incredible opportunity. Now, we are pumped about this brand. This is a first to market national brand. There are no big players nationwide in the gutter space. We compete mostly with mom and pops and overpriced gutter guard companies. And so Brothers That Just Do Gutters is going to blanket the US as that first to market national brand. It's a simple model. We all love that. Home base to begin, very quick to open. From the time you sign a franchise agreement to launching, it can be just 60 days. And it's a service model with very few employees. So what do we do? Now, this may be a shock to you all, but at Brothers That Just Do Gutters, our focus is on, well, gutters. Why are we raising the roof over this brand? Well, gutters are a need, not a want. They are not the newest fad or trend. They are a necessary product and service needed on almost all homes and commercial properties. At Brothers That Just Do Gutters, our primary market is new gutter guard installation um, for residential homes, also gutter repair for residential homes. And our secondary market is commercial properties. Think contractors, property managers. Uh, we also have recurring revenue through gutter cleaning maintenance agreements for both residential and commercial properties. So this is a B2C and a B2B business, which offers a ton of opportunity Almost every property out there has a gutter system. Now, with our catchy name, we own the Google search space. So think about what happens when you need a gutter repair. We don't think much about our gutters until there's water coming through the roof or um, standing water outside our foundation, or perhaps a piece of our gutter is dangling from the roof. Well, when that happens, the first thing that we are going to do is Google gutters gutter repair, gutter replacement, followed by our city. Well, with our catchy name, we pop up all over those searches and we focus all of our marketing efforts to be sure that we follow people around on the internet once they're looking and interested in gutter service. Um, in addition to that, we have an in-house call center. Our in-house call center is driving 80 to 90% lead conversion. 
That's across 20 franchise locations. That is unheard of in the service industry. Driving 80 to 90% conversion means that when somebody calls um, your local number as a franchisee, it's going to be directed to the call center and they're going to make sure we get them scheduled for an estimate. And eight or nine times out of 10, they are successful. All right, ready for the best part. And item 19 is your financial performance representations. And at Brothers That Just Do Gutters, we have a 24 page item 19. That's right, 24 pages. I've never seen anything like it. To put it into perspective, a typical item 19 is one to two pages for most brands. But what we filled this with is data from our corporate location seven mature locations and three newer locations. So any of these that were open the full year of 2020 or before are included in our item 19. So in addition to full performance for every location, we also have um, gross sales and we show total work orders from repeat customers. We show residential sales and work orders, commercial sales and work orders, average customer sales, for both residential and commercial jobs. We show lead to estimate conversions. We show how big every territory is that a franchise is operating in or the corporate location. It's really a data lover's dream and we can't wait to walk you through it and share all that this incredible brand has to offer. So remember, this is a first to market national brand with over 20 locations up and operating and they're profitable. We have incredible validation. This is a low investment brand. It's a family built brand with a very, very quick turnaround to launch and wide open territory. So in the words of one of our co-founders, Ryan Parsons, let's gutter done.